Good morning guys! So today I am about to try and de-yellow the dim doll head that I have here. Here he is. Um, he doesn't look that yellow uh, in the video. But he has a bit of a yellow tint right here on the front of his face compared to the rest of the head. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, partially due to the um, sealant that I have been using. Uh, I He was pretty yellow when I got him there and um, then I used a sealant after cleaning him. Um, so I will try to get rid of that. Uh, first off, I will try to take off all the remaining sealant with um, nail polish remover. It's acetone free uh, and I have used it on all of my dolls, this brand, Gunnery. Um, and uh, it works really well and doesn't harm the resin. Uh, I also have an oil free soap. <laughs> it doesn't look that nice but uh, it's really good. Uh, so I use it to clean in between. After that uh, I will try to use... Um, I have a toothpaste. The package is pink but the toothpaste is white and it has whitening in it. Uh, I will scrub it and I will also use bicarbonate or baking soda. Or baking powder. Uh, baking soda. Um, so, I will try and do my best and I will film and, and I, we will see if I get any results or if I have to um, try a bit, a light bit of sanding or something like that just to see if I can get to the, to the normal skin uh, underneath, so to speak. So yeah, here we go! again so step two in this cleaning process is to try and see if I can whiten it with a bit of toothpaste. Uh, the sealant is off uh, all you need is a lot of elbow grease so to speak and um, then just rub and scrub. So let's start So here we have the body uh, and I will start to taking it apart since it will be restrung and cleaned and fixed and hot glued and everything. So here we go. Since it's so loosely strung, um, and I also have extra string just in case, I'm not afraid to cut away the knots. It goes faster and it saves me the trouble I have to, have to try and um, untie it. There we go. 
so now let's just take this apart. If you are not uh, used to um, pulling apart and restringing a doll, it's always good to <coughs> keep all the parts together, so to speak, uh, so you always know where they're supposed to be. Let's see here if I can. There it is. It's really small hooks in the feet, so it's really tight. Try to pull it forward and drag it through like that. So that will be an issue um, or hard thing to deal with when we restrain. There we go. Those are the parts. And it's always good to save, even if you take an old doll and um, you're going to restring it and, you know, use a new string. It's always good to save the old one because then you will have something to mess it, measure with. So you see, it's really long. So I'll we'll put it like that. And then, just organize so everything is in the right place. Then we can put the pelvic here, torso, and then let's see here if we can dismantle the arms. And those were a lot easier. So here comes the hand. There we go. Nice. And string. So, what I will do now is I will take all these parts, uh, like I will use maybe, I'll start with the left side and take all, all the parts. Sorry about my camera, I'm not used to it. Uh, and clean those first. And then I will take the right, just so I don't mix them up. Um, here is something I know a lot of people have been talking about. If you can see the mirror doll, at least the older model, models, they have this oval shape on the wrist, which makes it harder to, um, to pose, since it just wants to go up and down, not side to side, and stuff like that. So, we'll see, this is also oval shaped, but um, I will ask Amy if she wants me to mod it or I will just leave it. Um, I suppose if you wire it like I will try and do, uh, it will be easier to use, but who knows. So, these are really small hooks. Save the hooks also, and uh, yeah, I will start to clean this, and then I will film while I do the other work on it. So, bye. So guys, I have finally cleaned the head as best as I can. I don't know if you can see it. If I put it against the white wall. And here, next to the mirror doll body, it is a tad, tad darker, as you can see, but with a lot of blushing and stuff, I'm sure it will look great. Um, so, I will let these body parts dry and fix them up. And then I will start the long process of sealing and painting and stuff like that. Yeah, over and out.